Okay, in the last tutorial we were working on an XML file for our Joomla template that we're creating. I want to show you what I have now. In, um, I have two templates that I'm working on simultaneously here. This first one is called CSS underscore samples. So this is kind of like my sample um, my sample template that I'm working on with this class. So you can see I got rid of a lot of the files that I don't need in here. So now in the main folder I've got my index.php file. I saved it as an index.php file. I've got my template details.xml file. And I've got a um, images uh, folder with my images in it. Okay, we know about that. In my CSS folder, a template2.css file. Now, what did I do with the other files that were here? Well, I stuck them in an older folder, another folder called deprecated. And this is a copy of what I had before. So I just copied everything I had before and put it in a folder just for safekeeping in case I needed to go back to it for some reason, which I probably don't. Now, in this template details.xml file, you can see that um, I've got, I filled in some information um, up at the top, and I've got all of the files in here that I'm going to need, except for one. I need a template underscore thumbnail.png file, which I'm uh, going to need, so we'll do that in Photoshop in a minute. And then I put in all of the files that I need in here, and I put in all the positions over here that are um, in my index.php file. There is one other thing that I need to do, and that is, now I've got, uh, this is, um, this is uh, my CSS samples template. For my other template, my telemedicine template, same thing, I did the same thing. There's a few differences. In my telemedicine template, I've got um, a couple of different position names here, right? And my CSS file, instead of being called template2.css, it's called template.css. And this folder that I'm working with is called Telemed Template. So in the Telemed Template, the, um, let's see here, where is it? The name is Telemed Template, the name of the folder, right? Whereas in my other XML file, the name is, up here at the top, is CSS underscore samples, which is the name of that folder. So I've got two um, templates that I'm working on simultaneously. If you look at these documents here, this is my first one, Telemed template, is the XML file, the PHP file, which I changed to index.php and template.css. Those are the main three components right now. And then in the second template, index.php, template2.css, and a template details.xml file. Now, there's one other thing that we need to change. Well, we need to get our PNG file, our image, our template thumbnail image, but we also need to do something else to these index.php files. In the index.php file, down in the body, you can see here it says image source images header underscore logo dot JPEG. Well, when this is installed in the template, right, what's going to happen is it's going to go into a WAMP server. Let me see if I can get my WAMP server going here. And when WAMP opens up, let's say you're going to install, this is, WAMP is uh, Apache, um, Apache here. So let me open up my uh, sample Apache directory. So here's an, a sample directory that I'm working with for my web server. And let's pretend this is your Joomla site, test2. So you open here, and inside is a Joomla website, all the folders and files for a Joomla website. Well your template is going to get installed into a folder called templates and in there here are some different templates that are um, installed right now into this templates folder so that this is where your template is going to get installed is inside of Joomla in the templates folder so in this PHP file if I want the template to be able to find header underscore logo dot JPEG I'm going to need to put it under um, templates right forward slash the name of my template which in this case is CSS underscore samples right forward slash look in the images folder forward slash look at for header underscore logo dot JPEG so now this is going to it'll find the um, image correctly okay so to do that I've got to do that again here 
I'm going to copy that. And then for this other image, right, on the right-hand side, same thing. i got to paste that in there. So look in the Templates folder, look in the CSS Samples template, and then look in the Images folder, and then you'll find this image, right? Let's see if I have another image in here hard-coded into the index.php file. I don't, so I'm all good. File, save. In my other index.php file, this is for my um, Telemed template. It's going to be similar yet different. Up here in the header, div ID header, I've got a uh, image. So paste, look in templates, and then instead of CSS samples, I'm going to say look in telemed underscore templates. A telemed underscore template, not templates. So templates underscore tel I mean forward slash telemed underscore template. Then I'll copy that and look for another image. There we go. There's another image. And that should be good. That's the only images that are written into the index.php file. So it should be good now. Oh, I missed a forward slash there. I got to get that. All right. So file save. Okay, 